Which allows Woken to Woke Swamp and part 11 of the leaf, a ratty roaster. Okay, so in an effort to release a video a week, I'm going to have to change up the format a bit. Slow it on down a bit. But essentially, I'm going to be carrying on with this. So the first thing I'm going to do is replace this ply with Ali. So by slowing it down a bit as well, it'll give you a bit more of an insight into my thought pattern and why I do the things I do. So there you are. Right, let's go and get some more of that alley. There's some pretty big bits here. I'm going to be using these on a special build in the very near future, no doubt. for the steering column but what I'm going to do this time is bring it straight down there because it'll keep this edge looking good and I can put the little removable piece down the bottom. get some holes in it and then I can get it trimmed right up exactly right that's gonna look quite cool in there well, I'm a man who's got right, it's one of those things where you just keep going in and out taking a little bit checking cut the screws in for the time being because I've got to do some marking out Better on that bit of wood. What I'm going to do, because I don't like this white, that bit of ply what was up there before, I'm going to stick to the back of it. by the bullet, go get on with it. Right, I'm going to have to work inside this little tent, I think. <clears throat> I wonder if I can get right in. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. No, oh, bloody horrible out there. Right, now, what I want to do next, if you see that bit, of, that bit of wood there that's coming down that way, so what I'm going to do is exactly that, right? And what I'm going to do 
is bring it out to about here somewhere so well you know to suit the pedals and it'll go back and make it nice and draft free there and then on the top of this I can put the heater and then I'm going to do wood flooring wood flooring the rest of the way probably ply something I didn't say about this seat I left a, quite a, a gap all the way along and that's purely because it's raining it runs down here it can run out the back oh that pain but it burns my soul okay so i've been out in the woods and just picking up some of my kindling this looks like it, it was off the bed but it's a nice bit of what well, looks like pitch pine Okay, so this is what I'm getting at. I've got these two running down here. These two cut off pieces go up here. And I'm gonna join, join one in the middle there. Then I'm gonna run this down and ply. So now I'm going to run some some more timber struts down here somewhere. The height of this comes up to about here somewhere. So if I cut a bit of ply that goes nicely right around there, it can just sit tight up against it. No issues with building a tunnel or anything because it'll all be hidden. I'm going to make this hole bigger so the pedals can come in and out, and then I'll just put a plate over a pair of them and then that can make that a lot easier getting them in and out there you go well, I think I'm gonna get the rest of this plastic off the steering wheel because I don't like it they look better all an alley when that sky opened up like a broken hearted woman I wish that I was dead which looks better is running through something like that because I've got to avoid all this rivetry around here and then I can put a piece that comes right over all of that I'm going to have to cut round open this up so I'm going to need some sort of gator to go on here and a gator to go on there the thing is with the heater going if there's a big hole right in front of it it's not going to do any good is it so Right, there's two other nuts under here that are holding this on, so I've tightened that right down and it should mark them. But there's one, there's the other, so I just gotta drill that out enough. And I've allowed a bit so I can get a piece this way because I'm assuming this is gonna get a lot more foot action in that corner than this is, because this is gonna be under the pedals. Right, 
might take this one off and get that one cleaned up and that one there. All right, let's get rid of this antique pine and clean this up a bit. a bit better done it now it's all cleaned up finally sun's nearly out leave me in a garage for a few days when it's raining and look at this stay in there look there's you can't oh the first thing I'm going to do this morning is have a clear up. I, I, I clear up every morning, but it's never, it's not usually this savage. Okay, that's better. Just going to pick that bit up. Look at this. Right, now this wood's nice and clean. I'm going to have a go at a bit of preservative on it and what I'm going to use for it so this is a frog's back axle and it's got some really big thick gloopy oil on it it really needs thinning I think when I harvest it fully I'll just drain it away and thin it down a bit because it is so thick but the thing I like about it is really smelly now with old cars they always have that old car smell now that usually comes from upholstery, but we haven't got none, so what we're going to have is a hundred year old axle smell. And look at that, look how nice that looks. So I'm going to do all the wood in, in this, and look, looks old already. I have a little go on this dash as well. Hang on, let's go and get a bit more. I shouldn't get too excited about this because I haven't finished this dash yet, but... <laughs> oh, look at that. It's got like tiger stripes in it where it's been plain. Where it's been cut. I think that's going to look bang in that colour. I started on this template here now. It's quite a tricky one really, but I'm getting there. I've just got to keep nipping away at it again and I'll make a good template out of this. And then I've got some other ply and I cut a brand new piece. It's just working out what to do round here and down there in the centre cross member. That's about as far as I can get with the driver's side template. I've got rad bits on here and there. The reason I'm not using this ply is look, it was out there for a few months and just separated. When he's is preserving. So when I cut the new ones, I'll probably get them black and then whack a load of satin varnish on them or something just to keep them good. template material today is some sort of flooring protector my neighbour get me but it'll do could do with a massive cereal box you know that's the sort of carpet I need I'm sure you can buy it I should go out and look for some I'm sure it's on rolls and I, I bet it's not expensive and it'll save me monkeying around like this because I'll be able to get it straight away right looking tasty now this piece here I'm going to have to make some sort of gate around I don't know I'll suss that out when I get to it but it's popped in for lunch that was lovely still sunny and I'm looking at this heater and I've looked see where it looked best so it doesn't look bad there oh, I've just turned it upside down and I think that is the way something like that looks the best from up here you get to see that lovely curve at the top there 
Yeah, good stuff. Right, that's pretty easy because it was sitting on this flat. So if I get some captive nuts out of there, or bolts, bolts would be better. I think what I'm gonna do is put a bit of rubber on it. Bolt, some bolts on here. Right, I'm gonna whip him apart and get some bolts hanging out of here. What I think I'm gonna do is replace this motor all together. A man called something or other is, um, look, he might have a motor for me, so. Cheers, mate. So there's a motor and it's pretty small. 70 mil, 70 mil across. And the blades are about 150. The body itself is 70. Right, so I'm gonna put four bolts in there. And what I plan to do, have them come in through, put a nut on it and then put a bit of rubber on there. And then that take up any vibration and it uh, lose the nut. Hello, you back again. I've got to continue anyway. Right, so I put these four bolts on the end. They're kind of like captive, so I'll drive the holes down there. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the height of that. And then above it, I might put some sort of vent in. I don't know. I think that's sitting down just enough. And it looks pokey down there. But it's cool down there. Now I'm gonna transfer this bulkhead onto this Better bit of timber. Starting to rain, better take it indoors. Right, well there you go. Give them a coat of copronol and that uh, and that make them nice and waterproof. It's done to look chestnut to me. Cold like a day, first coat, and they do look chestnut. Well, that's surprising, I'm gonna give them another coat straight away. It was looking bright just a minute ago. Surprising it goes on green and goes brown, but looks good, doesn't it? I'm gonna give these a few coats, get them nice and dark, get them nice and preserved. Let it come out for a second, because the sun's come up. Right, what I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to take all this wood out. I'm going to harvest the frog oil at the back axle and I'm going to coat it all up with oil. Now hopefully I've got my speedo arriving today and the speedo will determine if I use the brass dash or not. <laughs> Let's give it a bigger stick. And that'll do. And, uh, what I'm going to try and do is warm it up a bit and see if that helps. Hard oil. Oh, <laughs> it's so gloopy, man. But it goes on all right. I think diluting it would be would be criminal, to be honest with you. All this wood's going to really stink now because this stuff really does really does chuck it up a bit but I like it you've got to have an old car smell to an old car haven't you? it loves it it's like treat all this stuff is I know I'm going to a bit of effort on these um, on these timbers but they're floor and this car's going to live outside and I'm never ever going to get it sealed completely so these are going to get wet at some point so the more protection I put on them now the better I feel about it. By doing all this stuff now, it makes my job easier in a minute because we are starting to get a bit close. I'm starting to think about getting it out there and getting it MOT'd, and it's not too far away either. There we go. 
It's a lovely old speedo. And do you know how much that cost me? Go on, have a guess. It's moving. I just gotta see what I can squeeze up there to make it work. I'm not sure what this is off. So how much did it cost? It was £10.50. I thought that was pretty cheap. So I just cleaned off the back and it's a Stuart Warner. Don't know about it in there though. I think this needs to go straight in the wood. Like that. The three clock's going over. I don't know how you take it apart or how you connect a speedo cable to it. But this is really stiff in here so I've got to try and release that. I'm taking this little thing out. That must be for the Ready? Right, this speedo's got sort of like cut off edges, but I think I'm just going to go with it in a round hole, to be honest with you. Three going around it like that. Something like that. Nice little old washer. This one I've got to cut a little bit of the wood out of the top, but I've also got to make this hole a little bit bigger. What this means now is I can finish this dash off. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with that. Right, so next time what I've got to do is I've got to go down into the floor. There's loads of jobs that need finishing here. There's some brake jobs that need doing. I'm thinking I'm going to redo the clutch pedal. The idea is there, but I just want it to be a little bit better. So I'm going to change the exhaust to something about two inch because this is just a pea shooter I had lying around. I think a two inch is also sound better and it'll give it a little bit more grunt. But if you want to see me do any of that, I'm afraid you're going to have to tune in next time. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me a like and a comment. If you're not subscribed, please hit the old subscribe button and you'll be getting plenty more of this fella. If you want to support the channel, please go over to the tip jar or better still, grab yourself a nice Oak Swamp hoodie or t-shirt. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you dudes next time. Hang on.